In this video, I'm going to show you what a light board is. I'm going to show you what you use it for, and more importantly, I'm going to show you how you can build one fairly easily for around 100 bucks. So what would you use a light board for? Maybe you find yourself homeschooling and you need to teach first grade math. Maybe you want to present a concept that needs visual aids to get a message across. Or maybe you're just playing around. So live boards are a ton of fun and they're actually really easy to use. Basically, I have a tripod. On top of that, I have a camera. I use an SLR, but cell phone works just fine. In front of the camera, I have a two feet by four feet plexiglass screen. Now this is where the magic is. Around the plexiglass screen, I have a set of LED strip lights. And what happens is the light is captured inside the glass. And when I write on it with the neon marker, it picks up the light and that's what gives it the pop. Behind the screen, that's where I stand. And then behind me, just to give you some good contrast, I have a cheap black photographic backdrop. So building the setup is pretty easy. It's basically working on the stand for the plexiglass. I'm putting those LED lights around it. Let me show you how it works out. So here's how we're gonna build our light board. We're basically making a frame for the plexiglass from two by fours. The left and right side are six feet tall. There's a horizontal beam low in the base and there's a horizontal beam to support the plexiglass. The feet are three feet long and are attached to the vertical pillars using some old heavy duty shelf brackets. The only detail you really need to think through is cutting the groove in the wood that will house the LED lights and the plexiglass. The groove needs to be wide enough for your LED lights. You're going to line the groove with the lights and then put the plexiglass into place. My lights were about a quarter of an inch wide and the groove is around 3 eighths of an inch deep. Cutting the wood and assembling the frame took about two hours. The only tools I needed were a table saw, a drill, and a screwdriver. This is how it looked. So when you built your light board, the last thing you need to do before you're ready to make a video is set up your lighting. Going back to the beginning, I show that I have a camera. In front of the camera is the board that we just built with the LED strips around it. I'm behind that. And behind me is our black photographic backdrop. Now the goal when you're lighting this is to keep the light on the subject, but keep the light away from the backdrop. Doesn't matter if the light hits the plexiglass, just want to keep it away from the backdrop. Best way that I found to do that, I have a couple of cheap um, photography lights, they're LED lights, um, but they have the barn doors. The barn doors are keeping the light away from the background, but focusing the light on me. Um, there's a little bit of shadow. Uh, I suspect if you wanted to get rid of that, you could use a hair lamp or something up front, but the side lights seem to work pretty well. Last thing to think about, you may have been wondering, do you need to write backwards when you make these videos? The answer is no. A couple of things that you can do. What I do is the easy thing, which is just flip it in post-production. A bunch of editing tools will allow you to do a horizontal flip. Very easy to do. The alternative is you can shoot into a mirror, but that makes the studio setup much more complicated. Flipping in post is much easier. That's it. You have your board, you have your lighting, you're ready to go make videos.